Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the last episode, we were doing the Deathbrand quest, and we came across a little objective to find an ancient Nordic pickaxe so that we could remove the stall room uh, within the crypts and thus move forward and hope to find the, re uh, the remains. That came out really weird. <laughs> the remnants is what I wanted to say, but it came out remains. Uh, of the death brand armor set. I believe we have the armor set. I think we only need the weapons, but I could be wrong There could be more armor. I don't really remember exactly, but we will see now. I was right There is actually somebody that we can buy a an, uh, an ancient yeah an ancient Nordic pickaxe from um, and that person's name is something iron fist uh, Something like that. So we're looking for that guy and I thought that it would Stone be the blacksmith. Like oh, it's probably this guy. No. What, what? What was your name? Wolf Wildblood. I thought it was Wolf Wolfblood. I was like, that's a little bit repetitive, don't you think? You will stop. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where this guy's going to be, but we can look at our local map and maybe find a, uh, a house belonging to him. Balder Iron Shaper's house. Yes, indeed. We're looking right at it, sort of. Hopefully, he's inside because he's definitely not. Uh, over by the blacksmith, which, which is where he should be, in my opinion. What else is he doing? Okay, seriously, where the hell is this guy? He's not going to be in his house because it's locked, I don't think, anyways. We'll try it, though. How do these ancient Nords even know how to make a lock? All they should know how to do is skin things and, and talk about the end times and whatever. Talk about all their lore. Okay, yeah, there's probably not even going to be a guy in here, is there? Here we go, man. This is my luck. It's like, I need to find one person and one person only. And it's the only guy missing from the goddamn village. Like, are you serious? He's not in his house. He's not over by the by the blacksmith, which is where he should be. Like, where is he? Where, where would he be right now? You know? I, I don't think we need to do a quest for him. All right, what time is it? It is 1.46. Let's wait 24 hours. That'll be around 2 p.m., 1 p.m., 12 p.m., Let's wait uh, till then. I, I don't remember what I did to get the last ancient Nordic pickaxe. I remember I did have to get it, though. Um, I also know you can get it from a guy in Raven Rock, but you have to do a quest for him. And this seemed like the easiest way, but of course this guy is nowhere to be found. Just nowhere. He, he's just gone. Like, who knows where he is? It's the same thing with the Jarls. Whatever that was, so that the evil does not swallow the skull. Okay. The no. 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 Yeah, you're all saying the same thing. I get it. No. Oh my gosh. I don't understand either, man. Like, where could he be? Is he back here, maybe? This is, like, ridiculous. I, 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 I'm really at a loss for words here. Oh, wait. Did we check this guy? Nope, they're all women. It's like, they're all women. There's, there's like two men here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Where? Oh, okay. Wait, there's a bunch of different people here. Stop. No! Whatever that was. So that Woodcutter! Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, this guy is nowhere to be found. I have no idea where he is. He's definitely a part of the skull. I mean, that's his house right here. We see his house. <laughs> what in the world? Oh, now the house isn't locked, though. Is he the only guy that's in his house? This should mean he's in here, right? Well, no, we picked the lock. So I guess it stayed open. I want to die. Why? I I'm really curious to find out if there's, like, something that makes sense as to why this guy is not here. <gasps> Alright, well, I guess we're going to do the second best option. Screw this. I... Uh, 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 what? What? Why would he be gone? I... Like, seriously, I, I don't think he's involved in a quest. I, where is he? Okay, yeah, we're gonna do the second option. I really didn't expect that to happen. Um, if we go back to Raven Rock, there should be a man right here named Glover Mallory. At least this guy's in the place where he should be. You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Why all the fuss over a simple pickaxe? No, 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 this isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. That's what I need. Don't exactly grow on trees, you know. I know, yes. I've realized that. Can't you just get the guard to find Crescious? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. 
Look, if you see Precious, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. You tell Precious he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. All right, I'll definitely give you your pickaxe, but first I need to use it. So hopefully this leads me somewhere, and indeed it looks like it is. Well, I guess this is the quicker option, um, because I didn't realize this quest was this easy. I thought it was a more elaborate quest. There's something else that we can do with Glover, though. Um, and if you'll notice, his name was Glover Mallory, and we've definitely seen another Mallory at some other point. Um, and I know who that is before you all say who it is in the comments. I'm just trying to be a little... Uh, undeliberate? I don't think that's a word. Precious, last time you explored the mine, you almost Can't you see I'm death. busy? I'm not spending the rest busy of my days Busy doing what? Why should I tell you? I don't even know who you are. It's dangerous here for an old man. Ask most of the folks around here and they'd agree with you. But mark my words. These mines hold a secret that could put Raven Rock back on the map. What sort of secret would be hidden here? A secret the East Empire Company swept under the rug two centuries ago. It killed my great-grandfather and left Raven Rock with a worthless and tainted mine. East Empire Company? You never heard of them? They're the largest trading company in Tamriel, originally chartered by the Emperor of Cyrodiil himself. Who was your great-grandfather? Gratian Kyrelius. He spent his entire life exploring ancient ruins across Tamriel, and he died in these very mines almost 200 years ago. How did he die? The East Empire Company called it a terrible accident, claiming that he was lost in a rockfall, but I know better. What's your proof? My wife and I were cleaning out our home, and we came across some of my great-grandfather's things locked in an old chest. I found an unsent letter he'd written to the East Empire Company, and a key. What did the letter say? It describes a discovery that was made in the mine by some of the diggers. They wanted Gratian to take a closer look. The East Empire Company must have felt it was of great value, as they locked that section of the mine off from everyone else. The key is to the locked section? It is. Well, I assume it is. I haven't been able to find the entrance. I admit, this does sound suspicious. Finally! Someone who believes me! I'm telling you, there's something big down there. Something that the East Empire Company wanted to hide from everyone. Why are you telling me all of this? Look! My wife nags that I'm too old to go traipsing around these mines chasing my story. Time's my enemy caught up with me before I could find the answers that I'm looking for. So you do need my help? I do. I want to know what happened to Gratian, and what the East Empire Company is keeping from all of us. Any idea of where to start? Gratian kept a journal of notes about his discoveries. If you can find his remains, I'm hoping it will help. Here's everything I have. The letter, the key. Please, do this for me. So I can finally regain the respect that I've lost. Glover wants his ancient Nordic pickaxe back, by the way. The damn fool doesn't even deserve to have it. The pickaxe was made for mining, not selling. I'll bet he stole it from the Skull in the first place. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, very well. Here, tell him I hope he drops a thing on his foot. Be careful down there. Mine can be treacherous. Okay, didn't expect to find another quest. Um, again, I've only done the Solstheim. I've only done the Dragonborn DLC one time. But I did do everything. I did complete everything, as usual. So, I'm thinking... I there, The thing is, there's two, like, expedition quests in this DLC. And I'm pretty sure this one is separate from the one that I'm thinking of right now. Okay, so before we return this to Glover, we should be able to buy it um, as soon as we return it. But we're going to just go ahead and utilize it. Hopefully it's not like a special uh, ancient Nordic pickaxe that we won't be able to use. I don't think so. So, yeah, let's head inside here. I, I still can't believe. I I'm trying to go back to the beginning of this episode. And, and, try and I'm trying to think, like, why wasn't that guy there? It, 
it just it just really reminded me of all of the Jarl and the Thane episodes and like not being able to just find people that should be where they are. Ugh, frustration. Okay, uh, here we have some soul slime. Let's go ahead and mine it. Indeed, we can use the ancient Nordic pickaxe on it. We have two, though, so I'm not sure which one's the correct one. Uh, also, we don't mine... We haven't really mined in this Let's Play whatsoever. Not really into the crafting. For those of you that have seen my Fallout 4 Let's Play, you know that I don't really like crafting. Um, I much prefer to find my own unique weapons and armor and then utilize those. Uh, and by unique, I mean named. And, and especially good if they look unique. Okay, so, yeah, but that's how you mine. You basically just have to have a pickaxe. You go up to a, uh, uh, a little deposit like that, and you press A, and then, you know, over time you get some stuff. This one was obviously the wrong one. We just have a draugr. So, if we mine this stallroom deposit, not only will we get more stallroom, which, like I said, if we go to a crafting bench or something, um, we should be able to make some stallroom armor and things, and, and that basically, I think... Ooh, we got a diamond, too. That's pretty good find for just mining some magic ice yeah i forget exactly what the lore is for stallroom but basically it's like enchanted ice stuff and um it, it gives you either really good defense for weighing a little or it gives you ice protection something special there's something special about it okay and yes behind here we have a secret little area explore gildenhold barrow for the death brand armor set is what we're doing <laughs> We have the key. I think we got it from that dead body over there. Okay, we've got like a treasure room here. With an expert chest that we can open with the golden burrow key. Also gold all... Oh, wait, can we? Oh! Oh, I was like, wow, this is just a part of the floor. This is so lame. But no, we can actually pick this up. Oh, yes, I remember this. Okay, so this is the treasure room, I believe. Or maybe part of the treasure room. It looks like we have another door to go through. So each one of these piles of gold is about a hundred, I would say. So that's like a hundred times what? Seven. So that's seven hundred gold right there. And then this is a thousand. So we've already got like a thousand gold. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, no! 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, oh my god, 24, 25, 26, 26, no! 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, uh, 71. That's like 7,000 gold. Um, probably close to 7,500 because of all the extra gold as well. My god! I forgot about that completely. Uh, that's, yeah, that's just a shitload of gold in this treasure room. Uh, wow, okay, great. <laughs> I'll take that. How much gold do we have now? 66,000. All right, and this is a master chest. And ironically, the master chest has 17 gold in it. Yeah, you would think you would put the gold inside the chest with the master lock, but okay, sure. Let's go back into Sneak. This door requires a key as well. We still didn't find our ultimate prize, though. That was a lot of gold. I did not expect that. I wonder... I really don't think this is the case, but I really wonder if I um, bypassed all that gold thinking it was a part of the floor. I don't think that's the case, but I also don't remember that much gold being in there. Okay, we've got clearly what looks to be a boss room, but I don't remember if there's a boss as well. I guess we'll see in a second here. Here we have Blood Scythe. Everything's shaking, obviously. Defeat Hackneer Deathbrand. Yes, indeed. Okay. We're going to treat this as a boss battle. So, let's go ahead and use Highborn. Let's, in fact, use Dragon Aspect. Get some extra armor. and I. Uh-oh, I don't think we use the... I think we only use the first part of the shout. 
Yeah, it looks like we can't use it again. I think we should have some... Huh. I'm not sure if we use the second part. Okay, and then we will also, uh, first and foremost, cast Ebony Flesh. So this guy one-shot me because he's coming close. And then, uh, you guys know the deal. Conjure Thorn. Conjure Spike. And Conjure Spur. Okay, hack near death brands. I can also use Soul Tear on him as well. I can truly stop you, but it, not if you're going to do this horrible... Oh, what's going on here? Oh, do we have a multifaceted boss battle? Hackneer's crew, I was going to say. Are you summoning some... Why can't I damage that? Oh, it looks like I can. Okay. No, I didn't want to do that charge attack. Yeah, it looks like we have a pirate crew to deal with as well, but that shouldn't be too difficult. Look at all the gold. It finally just caught up. Um... While we're doing this, let's take a look at the weapon we got. It was called Blood Scythe. When wielded with Soul Render, absorbs 15 health and has a chance to weaken enemy, enemy armor. So it has an armor shred ability as well. Uh, obviously, this tells us that we'll get another sword, Soul Render. Which probably we'll have to kill Hackneer for. So let's hack away at Hackneer's crew. That's a nice little pun for you guys. Hackneer, where are you? Your crew's too weak. I agree with Thorn and Spike. There can be no other end. Let's go, buddy. We go ahead and soul rend you too. Or soul tear you. I really prefer that you die this time around and not have me go up. Balin Ebonhand. Ooh, look at this. Now we've got some unique Wow, you die fast. I like the way you die, boy. Thank you. And who is your friend? Ghostly Remains. That's a good name for a boy. Some more ghostly remains. Okay, Hackneer, it's time. Uh can you tell your pirate king to get his ass out here? You guys are far too weak to face the might of Aginoc. That goes without saying. But I'll say it anyway. Okay, who do we have over here? Some more Hackneer's crew and you? Was there really enough room for all of you guys on the pirate ship? It must have been a pretty big ship. Jeez Louise. Okay, uh, let's summon our boys again. Give them a little fresh. That's one right trigger. And I didn't even, like, stab you. I just sort of just prodded you with, with, uh, spur. 254 gold on Hackneer Death Brand. Alright, where you at, buddy? It's time to die. It's time to end this. Thank you very much. Soul Render. When wielded with Blood Scythe, absorbs 15 Magicka and has a chance to dispel magical defenses, which I'm assuming just means ward, uh, wards. And a filled black soul gem, some ectoplasm, ectoplasm, there's no A there, and a ring of blocking. And that has completed the Death Brand quest. Obviously some great rewards. One other thing I've noticed, uh, as a kid really, from playing a lot of DLCs, and when I say kid, I mean kind of like my high school era, uh, from playing a lot of DLCs is that usually they give you the OP stuff in the DLCs. I guess the thought process is, if, hey, if you're going to pay extra for this, might as well load you up. So obviously we got like 7,500 gold. Uh, a full light armor set, which, like I said, has to be one of the best, if not the best, light armor sets in the entire game. And then also two awesome swords, um, which, unfortunately, are not unique looking. I think the Death Brand armor is unique looking. I think it looks different from the Stallroom armor. If I remember right, I could be wrong. Uh, but the two swords are just like the, uh, uh, what are they called? Scimitars. That, um, the one guy, Azir? No, that's a League of Legends champion. Nazir, I think uses from the Dark Brotherhood. Okay, let's go ahead and open up this big chest here. Believe we know Iron Flesh. Oh! Wow. We didn't know Iron Flesh. Interesting. Um, we'll take these and we'll leave the staff. Let's go into magic and take a look at that. Uh, that should be alteration, right? Iron Flesh. Improves the caster's armor rating by 80 points for 60 seconds compared to Ebony. Which is 100. Okay. Just was making sure it wasn't a part of this new DLC. And it was, like, even better than Ebony Flesh. But, no. Ebony Flesh is the best. Alright. So, that completes Death Brand. Um, we're not going to use any of the stuff that we got. Except for the gold, obviously. But, nevertheless, a very cool quest. And one of my favorites from this DLC. And, uh, yeah. We got a lot of great rewards from it. We've got a bit of time left in this episode, so we're going to go ahead and move on to something else. And why not do the one that we just started, the final descent. I've stumbled across Crescius 
Corellius inside of Raven Rock Mine. He's convinced that the remains of his great-grandfather, Gratian Corellius, are at the bottom of the mine and that the East Empire Company has falsely designated his ancestor's death as an accident. He's tasked me with exploring the mine on his behalf to locate the remains and perhaps discovering what killed Gratian Corellius. Uh, and before we do that, we should have gotten a letter as well. Let's try to find that. Gratian's letter. Gratian. I would... I would appreciate if you could help us with a situation we've encountered in Raven Rock. It seems that the miners there have stumbled across some sort of ruins under the surface near Shaft 3, and, we're, and we need your expertise to take a look. I could send someone else if you're busy, but I figured you'd want to go since I seem to recall that you're originally from Solstheim. Let us know if you if you make any progress. I don't know why this letter is giving me so much difficulty. Rendalus. Thondarian, East Empire Company, Imperial City, Cyrodiil. Now, that is the most RPG, fantasy RPG name I've ever seen. Randalus Thondarian. <laughs> that sounds like something. I'm sure that name existed a D&D campaign somewhere with some huge, excited nerd. Uh, no, I didn't mean huge as in fat. I meant huge like he's very excited about the name. Uh, and before you say, Grovana, don't judge D&D players, I've played Pathfinder and I absolutely love it and I relish it and I really wish I had a bunch of people right now that I knew that would want to start a campaign in real life. I've gotten a lot of offers to do it uh, over the internet, you know, through all of either fans or um, people I've met through YouTube, but it's not the same. It's not the uh, same experience as playing D&D or Pathfinder in person. That's what's fun for me, playing it in person. Um, and I wish I knew some people that would want to do that. But I don't. Moving on. Let's go to Raven Rock, shall we? We actually have this ancient Nordic pickaxe to deliver. We could also hold on to it, but, um, I think the only use is to literally mine Stalrum, and we're not going to do that. So, we can go ahead and give it to Mr. Glover. And I think that also starts us on another quest, uh, from him. Don't be gone, Glover. No! Also, I don't think I've mentioned this yet. Maybe I have, but uh, we can see a little Thieves Guild symbol right to the left of Glover Mallory's house. Okay, looks like... Yeah, uh, let's wait around eight hours. Uh, looks like everybody's sleeping. Why are they sleeping? It's 4 a.m. There could be adventuring to be done. But no, they're all just lazy and boring NPCs. All right, there you are. Find my pickaxe yet? I have your ancient Nordic pickaxe. So, you finally tracked down old Crescius, eh? Quite a character, isn't he? Tell you what, since you went through all the trouble of finding it for me and all, you keep it. After all that, why? I just wanted to remind that codger you can't just go around taking things from other people. Now that you've delivered the message, I'm satisfied. Besides, that pickaxe hasn't done me any good in years. Maybe you can put it to good use. I noticed the shadow mark by your door. Well, well. It's been a long time since someone from the guilds bothered to make their way out here. So tell me, how's my brother Delvin? Still spending his nights at the Ragged Flagon trying to win Vex's heart? Why do you have a normal accent and then Delvin has a British accent? That's a better question. He's well. Good to hear. Tam Layabout never even bothers to send his own flesh and blood a letter saying how he's doing. Can you imagine? Anyway, I suppose you're looking for work. Well, I got bad news. This place is drier than a damn bone. Nothing at all? Eager to make some coin, eh? That's the spirit. I'll tell you what. The guild's got a problem out here that I've been trying to deal with for years, but haven't been able to handle. The Thieves' Guild has a problem out here? Don't look at me like that. I'm all alone out here, with no one to watch my back. And besides, it's really my problem anyway. I caused it. What did you do? A fellow Breton who went by the name Esmond Tyne showed up at my doorstep about a fortnight ago. He noticed the shadow marks like you did, and I thought he was one of us. He stole something from you, right? That he did, right out from under my nose. Can you believe it? It's my own formula for improved bone mold. Took me years to perfect. Where's Esmond Tyne now? Well, before he ran off, he was talking some nonsense about trying to fence goods to the Reeklings at Castle Karstag. I told him he was crazy to even think about talking to those vicious little buggers. But he wouldn't listen. 
I'd bet a fat purse of coin that he's either dead or hiding out up there. I'll get that formula back for you. You do that, and I'll make sure you're set up right. You won't be disappointed. Bring your weapons and armor to me. I'll fix it up right. Okay, so we have another quest here, but... I want to check something, and to do that we need to get into Glover Mallory's house. And someone's seeing me right now. Should be a matter of just finding the right sweets. Excuse me? Can I help you? Be careful. Yeah, how about you look at me over here? What are you looking that way for? Is this game for real? G g move! Hey, watch it. No, you watch it. Glover Mallory's the name. If you're looking for a smith, you found one of the best. Wow, this game is ridiculous. This lady's looking over here for no re- Okay, maybe this will work. Come on now. I mean, we could just wait until night, but this is kind of ridiculous. Well, Glover's looking at me right now. Hi, man. Just trying to get into your house. Don't make me wait until night. Come on. All right, fine. Uh, let's see. That's going to be about eight, nine, ten hours. Ridiculous. First, whatever his name is, Bonded Fist or Iron Fist in the Skull Village is not even there. And now people won't let me just pickpocket into someone's house or lockpick into someone's house. How ridiculous. All right, everybody. It's time to go to bed. What are you guys doing here still? There's literally no one around me. What, what's going on here? Adronach Sneak is like at 50, I believe. I mean, I could activate invisibility, but I'm not sure if that really works. All right, screw it. Let's try it. Illusion, invisibility. We'll dual wield it. Like, we're invisible, but as soon as we activate something, uh, everybody sees us. So I don't know if this is going to work, but either way, I don't think this matters too much, even if we're found out. See, we're detected right at the end of that. I don't know if that matters or not. Okay, but inside we are. Um, now, let's see. Where did we want to go? Um, ooh, an East Empire Company Strongbox. We want to open all of these that we can. Uh, this is an expert lock. Come on, give me a little leeway. There we go. Come on, man! It's always, like, within an inch! I don't really know what that means, but it sounds right. Okay. It's, like, right in between. Like, right here. There we go. Okay, flawless diamond, flawless ruby, some gold. I'll take that, and I'll take that. We're mainly looking for the East Empire Company pendant. Alright, so if we go down here... Is there anything... Aha! This is the door we're looking for, but it requires a key. Um, yeah, we'll have to help Delvin... Er, Delvin? Glover. We'll have to help Glover uh, in his quest in order to get into that room. Which we want to do, because there's something very interesting. I feel a sneeze coming on. <sighs> Q! Q! Oh, that was a good one. Okay. We're going to end this episode here, ladies and gentlemen, in the next quest... <laughs> well, yeah, in the next quest, we'll do this quest. Um, whatever it's called, The Descent, I believe. Like I said, I think there's two. I don't think they're related, but there should be two. Yeah, The Final Descent. There should be two quests related to descending a mine, um, or at least descending uh, something. And this is one of them. And I think I know what this one has to deal with, but we'll see. And it should be a good one. So thank you guys for watching this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.